It's the NFL on EA Sports, and tonight's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Chargers coming up next. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Chargers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. Field's going to throw right away. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. More from L.A. in a moment. Chase Claypool on the receiving end. That is brought down short. Two yards there. Needed four. But we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down. They gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. Yeah. 
Fourth down, so they send out Trenton Gill. DeAndre Carter back deep. And taken right on the 30. Now a hit and a loose football. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. I don't know why, but it's always agonizing to me to see a guy make a mistake in this phase of the game because you can t it's, it's all on him. All eyes there. He's got a chance to make a punt return, and instead, he ends up putting it on the carpet. Puts it on the carpet. The little rubber pellets shoot up. Never a good sign for a returner on this field turf surface. No, not at all. And a bunch of them go up when they're all trying to get to the football, don't they? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw his fields. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice, substantial hit to draw that catch and lose from him. Incomplete pass. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing on third down, Fields. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline. But out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The fields is off, and on comes Cairo Santos for the Chicago field goal. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Santos' kick is up and through, and it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. That hasn't taken Herbert long to earn this status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap, and the second he sees an opening, the ball's soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Buying, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early. And I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play. And if so, is it going to be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Partner, it's 
a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And that is incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's we'll see if they can do better here on this drive. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. Here's Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Well, they're running the jet sweep with Jones. Asante Samuel able to make the play defensively. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. from just shy of midfield. Fields, a uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game. Get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections, they want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, here's Fields. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. There's no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you've got your best people in the area to try and take that away. Now here's Trenton Gill now. Now this is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how the defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Herbert takes it and just pops it forward. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Oh, 
On second and nine, Herbert finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle, it doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Herbert now. Man open left side. It's Williams. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got it not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on. First quarter, haven't we? we have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Here's Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they'll work this down inside the 30. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Running on first down, Eckler. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Back to throw here, Herbert. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 14. 11 more yards there, this methodical drive continues. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can find up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter. Because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Herbert operating from the red zone. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And the Chargers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Just picking up yardage and bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal.
Play action. It's Herbert. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. This Bears defense trying to hold on. This is third and goal. Now a toss running left, Eckler. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Austin Eckler taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Now the try here for the point after. He's got it. We'll see that opening right field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. send this one away take it in at the three and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line the Bears offense out there set and ready to go defense got the better of them last series forcing a punt see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive first and ten Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Fields. Going up top. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think that's the way they'll go. On second and ten, Fields able to hit his target, Claypool. And he's going to be dropped for we can pick up a seven past the 30 to the 32. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. The Bears on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and three. Fields now to throw. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Okay, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Her 
Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. He's got a man, it's his fullback. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Hold on a second, was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says it to slot receivers? But only guys can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch. Really nice job there. Showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Herbert. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give him credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, Eckler. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First down, and they stick with Eckler. Yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down LA. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. It's Eckler again. A little juke. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And it's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, a 16-yard touchdown. As his guys are able to extend their lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles.
the kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. It is fielded right at the goal line. The Chicago offense set to get started. They trail now 14 to 3, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Holding offense. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. No first it's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should got to pick up a holding call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Back to throw, Fields. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. I know me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll roll him out right. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. Got exactly what they wanted there out of the RPO and had the defense out of position. One word for you there. Excellent. Because he read all the keys properly, made the right decision, and look at the result. Pretty substantial game. The offense on third down tonight, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This will be third and six. Now Fields. Boy, oh, shifts past him. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now it's Fields. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Austin Eckler in the Charger offense reclaims center stage. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football, and they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellows. Not an easy thing for them to do. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. 49 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now it's Herbert. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 18 big yards on that one, and a Charger first. 
Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw taken in by Palmer. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Eckler now between the tackles. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off a place like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The last run got six, now second and four. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Here's Herbert. Dancing to his left. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Back to throw. Herbert. This is caught. Touchdown! Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And it's 21 to three. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. It, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 
as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. To throw on second and six. Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Fields to Mooney for the Chicago first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there. The way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. The touch and time being critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Fields. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little game. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing on third down, Fields. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. It's caught inside the 25. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. To throw his fields. Caught by Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now he's got it, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. The defense was ready for the back to leak out, and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion. But give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort. Turn it into a successful play. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he is not going to get in as the big body stopped him at the one. He tried to get the nose of the football across to no avail. And now it's third and goal. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Stopped last time from the one. Now here's another try on third and goal. Operating from the gun. Fields. And he's got Mooney in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Jarnell Mooney as the first half is winding down. And the Bears are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. 
Until that late score here in the second quarter, they only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, and when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. Santos with the extra point, and it makes the score 21 to 10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Chicago. And they didn't get a whole lot accomplished through the air in those first two quarters of play. They'll need to up their game if they want to rally all the way back. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they too did throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Fields it right around the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Throwing again on second down, Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because 
He really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Herbert throwing again. Over the middle complete. It's Williams. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Simple drag round here. Lined up out left and trying to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Up the middle with Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 76 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's got it to about the 40. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the 40 now on second down, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be held down at about the 30-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You yeah, have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the give, this is Eckler. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Draw play, it's Eckler. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. A handoff, it's Eckler. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. 
Well, Carmen, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Escaping the pressure right. Touchdown, Chargers! Mike Williams on the touchdown throw from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers take the opening kickoff in the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical is one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yeah. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. To try here for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. They run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And the Bears now with a first and ten at the 20. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Here's Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery, and they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. No return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The attention shifts back to Justin Herbert and the Chargers offense. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass. So whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven or even routes versus air. They're accurate. The receivers catch it. The ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, the ball never hits the ground there either. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A 
gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Herbert now. Pressure and he's taken down. A bear sack. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five and now it's second down. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. On the ground, it's Eckler. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. Nothing there, no gain, and now they're looking at a third and 15. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I, could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. Here's J.K. Scott now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 24. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's taken down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. Yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25 yard line. on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and nine. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. 30, 10, 5, touchdown, Chicago. 
And yeah, boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and this is one of the best runs you'll see. A lot of times on these long touchdowns, you'll see he gets into the end zone untouched, but not here. He fought his way through contact, and it barely even registered, and he just continued down the field all the way to the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is down to 11 at The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 right at the 30. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he'll get this to the 32. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's going to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now, and here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football, and that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Williams. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Well, you know, you might say, start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continue to do so. Going on the ground with Eckler. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 110 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So first and 10 now from the 30. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. 
eluding the pressure right. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert, he's got Allen. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A well-executed 22-yard game. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Herbert. Flushed out. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. I heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because of two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. Point after try forthcoming. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now a first down throw, Fields. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. To throw again on second down, Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. 
A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Back to the airfields on second down. And incomplete. Now defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's four. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Fourth down, Fields has to have this one. He's going to air one out. And this one is incomplete. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. They started on the ground with Eckler. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 131 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. First down, and they stick with Eckler. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On second down, Eckler. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Herbert has it knocked free. And this is picked up by the Bears. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. We know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Let's go now, let's go. 
Following the fumble recovery, Fields being chased out left. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's less than 50 percent, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter, and find their way open. Fields on third down. And that will be incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Montgomery, they'll run for it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Fields. Eluding the prank, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Fields. And incomplete on the deep ball. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Fields now to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On fourth down, Fields. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that will force a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. So it's a win here for the LA Chargers. And it was 
was thanks to the fine play of their quarterback, C.D., Justin Herbert. Yeah, he was definitely the X factor. He had three touchdown passes, ran for another, and really had this defense grasping for straws throughout much of this ballgame.